It is time to start the finals. Please welcome your quiz master, Lloyd Saldana. Hello and a very, very warm welcome to Wipro Erdian Sustainability Quiz, the 8th edition. We've gone on to the quarterfinal rounds after prelims and the pre-quarters. We've completed three quarters and we've had three semi-finalists already joining us. This is the fourth quarterfinal and this quarterfinal too is going to be an exciting one, I promise you that. And without further ado, let me introduce to you my quarterfinalists in quarterfinal number four. First up is Syed Mohammad from Osmania Medical College, Hyderabad. Hi Syed, welcome back to the quiz. Uh, better prepared this year, not prepared this year, what's your status? Um, did not actually get much time to prepare but I revised my last year's preparation. I'll, I'll, did not, I never understood uh, stand this because even with Murtaza it was the same thing. Did not get enough time. I do not understand what is enough time because uh, they were always well prepared and best of luck to you Syed. I hope you do really well in this quiz. From Syed, I'll move on to my next participant. This is Anushri R from Banari Amman Institute of Technology. Hi Anushri and welcome to this quiz. How does it feel to be in a quarter final? So it's quite unexpected because I'm new to this quiz and more excited. Uh, that's the lovely part. I mean, every year we get new contestants who qualify on from our various online rounds. And uh, it's nice to have you as a new contestant here. Best of luck to you. Don't get nervous. Yes. Don't get nervous. And even if you do take a negative at any point, do not worry. Lots of questions, lots of points available to score. So best of luck to you, Anushree. Do very, very well. From Anushree, I'll move on to my third participant. This is Aditya Gaikwad from Dayanand College of Commerce. Aditya, welcome to this quiz. Hi. How does it feel? Uh, it's uh, to be honest, first time experience for me. I didn't expect it for this long. I will come, but uh, I'm happy for what I made and I will do that uh, same thing for the next round. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, one more first time quarter finalist. Best of luck to you, Aditya. I hope luck Thank and a little bit of preparation carries you through to the next round. And finally, last but definitely not the least, Anirban Sarkar from Guru Nanak Institute of Technology. Anirban, welcome to this quiz. How does it feel? Honestly, I am very much excited about like uh, literally we are taking a quiz in a virtual platform. So, and, uh, and it's my first time like i'm becoming a quarter finalist so i'm also a nervous little bit it's nice to be nervous because the nerves actually kick in and then the adrenaline pushes you to do well so score well and do very very well in this quiz best of luck to you anirban those then my four quarter finalists ladies and gentlemen it's time for the quiz and this uh, quiz if you've been following as you already know has got two segments the first of the segments is called Erdian sustainability which is generic uh, sustainability questions and the second one which is a speciality round is called uh, Su Sustain Tech. Sustain Tech is short form for sustainable technology or clean technology that would be our second segment. Let's begin with the first of my segments Erdian Sustainability here it comes. <laughs> Okay then, 15 questions, everything on the buzzer, plus 10 if you get it right, minus 5 if you get it wrong, only the first person gets a chance to answer the question. But before that, can I have all of you guys try your buzzer one more time please? 
Okay, everyone's on the buzzer. Everyone's clear. Question number one. A nice, sweet, easy question to begin with. Here we go. The World Environmental Day 2023 is being held in Pakistan with a focus on what theme? Ah, I thought this would be... Yeah, th uh, Sayed's going for this. Go for it, Sayed. Uh, this is Invest in Our Planet. That's the theme of the Environment Day of Pakistan, which is being held in Pakistan. Yeah, but what was the focus of the theme? Not that I didn't ask the theme. I said focus of the theme. Uh, so floods to avoid floods, disasters and flood, uh, like to focus on floods and all. Ecosystem restoration. Fair enough. Fair enough. You explained the whole point out to me. Uh, that that was what I was looking for. Uh, floods or what, whatever other calamities that come along. The restoration of such ecosystems so that we don't get into these issues. Plus ten to you. Well done. Uh, that you get yourself a ten and you start this quiz very very well. Next one. Visual question. You can either give me just the expansion or tell me what is this about. Either which ways I'll give you points. What is this about or even if you can give me the ex uh, expansion to what f o d a f is sayad again on the buzzer yes sayad uh, this is the foot footprint data foundation and what do they do they give out carbon footprints and all other ecological fo footprints like other footprints too Plus 10 to you again. Plus 10 to you again. Uh, ecological footprints and other footprints. It was established by the Global Footprint Network and New York University. Uh, they have established this uh, to make national ecological footprint and biocapacity results that can be trusted and verified anytime. Plus 10 to you. Uh, Sayad again. Moving on to the next one. Simple and easy. Identify this personality for me. <laughs> Sayad again. Okay, Sayad. Uh, this is uh, V. Ramanathan. Sorry, sorry, uh, I, I, miss, I missed you. V. v. Ramanathan. He Ma was the... Uh, Go on. Uh, he... Uh, yeah, basically he gave, he gave uh, studies about ozone layer and CFCs and all. He very, very good attempt, but you just got the wrong person altogether. That's a minus five for you. That And you were in a hurry on that. I, I wanted to give you a little more on this. Uh, Indian conservationist who is known as the prime architect behind the World Life Protection Act. Now you want to try? No points though. This is Dr. M.K. Ranjit Singh Jhala. Uh, this is who was the man behind the Wildlife Protection Act of India 1972. Minus 5 because Syed was in a hurry. But the rest of you, come on, don't let him out buzz you. He will do this throughout the quiz. Do not let him out buzz you. I've been seeing Sal for a long time now to, to know how he plays this game. Moving on to the next one. Question number four. Under the Biosphere Connection Initiative, the Dash Dash Network has since 2007 teamed up with the World uh, ICUN and Ramsar Convention on Wetlands to assist field workers from both environmental agencies with transport to relevant meetings, conferences, events, etc. What are the two missing words fill in the blank the dash dash network Sayed again uh, so this is the man and biosphere network of the UNESCO uh, okay Anushri what is your answer US biosphere network ah why are, why is everybody missing the key word there the key word was Appear, assist field workers from both environmental agencies with transport to relevant meetings. The missing words there are Star Alliance, the, uh, play, uh, the airline uh, network that I was talking about. It's the Star Alliance. Sire, don't take unnecessary negatives. You're dropping points, uh, which could cause a problem later. But I will move on to number five. Which UNESCO's International Scientific Cooperative Program has science for a water secure world in a changing environment in its ninth phase, which is going to begin, uh, which began in 2022 and will go up all the way to 2029? UNESCO's International Scientific Cooperative Program. 
you better not take a negative on this go for it sayed uh, i think i am guessing this time uh, this is a hydro uh, ihp international hydrological uh, program for all the way from almost 30 you drop no not 30 20 you drop down to 10 from here you could go to 5 or you could go to 20 but luckily you are going to go 20 this is a good guess i had good guess intergovernmental hydrological program or ihp plus 10 to you good answer okay moving on to the next one number seven oh sorry this was number six um, my bad whose famous campaign is this simple and easy stop climate change before it changes you very very famous plan oh ho oh, oh. ho sayad again yes sayad uh, i am going with the obvious guess uh, wwf world wildlife fund for nature world wildlife fund for nature an obvious guess and an obvious answer plus 10 to you very very well done and anushri um, let me get the names right anushri aditya and anirban if you guys do not start buzzing he's just going to keep buzzing that's how he plays the game so Please go for the buzzer. Try and attempt those questions. Don't let him get away with it. Question number seven. RPS is a regulation that requires the increased production of energy from renewable energy sources such as wind, solar, biomass or geothermal. What does RPS stand for? Anirban. That's nice to see you on the buzzer. Go on Anirban. Uh, I will guess uh, resource planning system, RPS. Good try. Good try, but not the right answer. It's renewable portfolio standard. It's a standard. That's why it says it uh, requires the increased production of energy from renewable energy sources like wind, solar, etc. It's the renewable portfolio standard that we are talking about. Minus five, but good attempt, Anirban. Definitely a good attempt. Number eight. A fundamental principle in the United States environmental law, this is enacted to make the party responsible for. <laughs> Sayed, yes. So, uh, this is called the polluter pays principle. So, you have to uh, make the polluters pay for their crimes for harming the environment. Perfect, perfect. Polluter pays, pays principle plus 10 to you. That's a very, very good answer. Moving on to question number 9. Who is behind this living planet index along with okay you stopped me sayad uh, wwf i'm again guessing uh, obvious guess wwf along with uh, along with uh, maybe world bank or uh, unis i don't know okay anyway i was my uh, question would have been uh, who is behind this index along with the zoological society of london who is the answer still? Uh, I'm going to go with uh, WWF. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. I intentionally had two questions on WWF because sometimes it tricks the mind saying, could it be the same answer? How can it be the same answer? But apparently with Syed, that doesn't work. Okay. Plus 10 to you, Syed. Good answer on that. Moving on to the next one. The Dash Dash is a set of agreements reached at the 7th Conference of Parties to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change held in 2001 on the rules of meeting the targets set out in the Kyoto Protocol. Fill in the blanks or blank. Really? Oh, okay. Sayad again. Uh, An I'm going to go with uh, Marrakesh Accords. Anirban, what's your answer? Nah, this time I will also guess, but the, I think the Paris agreement. One says Paris, one says uh, Marrakesh, and it's 2001. The year is very significant. Paris possibly much, much later, but 2001 Marrakesh accords. Another 10 points to you. Very, very good answer. Nicely done. Nicely done. Okay. Uh, I need an explanation to the next question. Please be specific in your explanation. Here we go. An anthropause occurred during the COVID-19 pandemic, particularly in March and April 2020. What is an anthropause? Sayad? Okay. Yes, Sayad. 
So anthro means human, anything human related. Okay. So during COVID pandemic, there was a pause, pause in the human activities. Like there was, there was less traffic, less pollution, uh, less flights, and also anthro pause is basically like uh, pausing of events of uh, human activities. March and April 2020 was when mm, there was huge amounts of lockdowns happening because of which travel, uh, especially human travel, had come to almost a standstill. That is the anthropause that we're talking about. Anthropause meaning a global reduction in modern human activity, especially travel, plus 10 to you again, plus 10 to you. Anushree, you need to be faster. You need to be faster. He's running away with this. Stop him. Three of you, stop him. <coughs> I'm sorry. Moving on. Next one. Question number 12. What am I showing you? It's an award. It's an award. It's a very big name. Very popular. More than being a big name, it's more popular. Ah. <sighs> in the world of environment okay uh no buzzers sorry one second yeah buzzers are back okay nobody going on the buzzer i'm giving the uh, answer out on this this is simple straightforward something that has been discussed big time in the last couple of months uh, this is the earth shot price earth shot price or the earth shot award that's the the whole plaque that comes along with it that's what i wanted to have in there moving on 13 Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi ji, re, uh, releasing, what is my question? Uh, so, uh, last year, PM Modi brought... Uh, uh, da, 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 da. I, I, I don't want the answer. What is my question? That is the question. What is my question? Question is, uh, PM Modi is inaugurating what here in this photo? Okay. So, so he he brought eight cheetahs from uh, Namibia to Kuno National Park in... Uh, uh, to Kuno, Kuno National Park in India, okay. eight cheetahs. Okay, and uh, that's it. Do you know the names of the cheetahs? Uh, one of them was Asha. Gee, uh, no, 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 don't even get. No, no, no. I, I don't want the names. I don't want the names. <laughs> plus ten to you. Plus ten to you. Uh, Prime Minister of India Narendra Modi ji releasing African cheetahs to a quarantine facility at which national park was my question. He gave me my question and the answer. I'm not giving you extra points. You only get ten points for getting that right. Well done, sir. Good answer. Uh, next one. Straightforward. What SDG am I showing you? A graphical representation of a particular SDG. You <laughs> Hi, Syed. Yes, tell me. Uh, I th this is the uh, economic growth. Uh, the SDG is related to economic growth. Like the, there's the graphs and all. That's why I'm guessing. Plus 10 again. Plus 10 again. Decent work and economic growth. SDG number 8 is what I was asking. Good answer. I will just go on to my next question. What, what am I showing you? What's the logo? Simple, straight, easy. Including Syed. All of you stumped on this logo. I thought this was... An easier question, okay? What I conceive as easy sometimes is not perceived as easy, okay? Okay, no, 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 no uh, buzzers. This is the sites TSP. The C there is sites. TSP is Tree Species Program. This is the sites Tree Species Program. Nobody going on getting points on that. We'll take a look at the Earthian points at the end of the segment one on your screen. Not too many points there to be distributed, Syed, on 90 points already with just one uh, segment over. And Syed, how many negatives did you get so far? Uh, two, two. Two negatives. So technically, um, you should have been on 100, but yeah, okay, you still managed the 90. And the rest of you, hello, wake up, don't let him run away. He'll just keep scoring. He's been doing this for many years now, so don't let him keep doing that. So start scoring your points. We will go on to the next segment. It's called Earthian Sustain Tech. Here it comes. <laughs> Sir, 
sustain tech it is sustainable technology or clean technology plus 10 if you get it right minus 5 if you get it wrong the first three questions are missing boxes questions the next three questions are lateral thinking questions the last four questions are text or visual based questions simple and easy as that any doubts that you guys have uh the will the scores be carried over to the uh, uh, no 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 we are not doing like that no no we are not doing that we're not doing that this okay. year don't want to do that this year okay going on to the next here we go question number 1 These are investments made into companies, organizations, or funds with the intention to generate positive, measurable social and/or environmental impact alongside a financial return. What type? I mean, what type of investments are these called? There's a name given to them. Read the question. The answer is there. Come on, guys. Syed again. Uh, impact. environmental impact alongside a financial return is known as impact investments plus 10 to you he took the time to read it he did not have any idea did you know did you know the answer no you didn't know the answer you went through the uh, what i said i said go through the question again and that's a good way of getting another 10 and getting on to the scoreboard at 100 okay next one Hey, this is slightly tough. Be careful, guys. This is growing field that applies tools and techniques such as RNA interference, uh, transgenics, and genome editing to alter parts of living organisms, typically plants. Be very careful on this. Five, four. Oh, okay. Sa <laughs> Sayad again. Yes, Sayad. Uh, I'm going to guess is it agri tech like A G R uh, wait wait agri agri tech oh, <laughs> I don't <know. laughs> now you're making stuff up okay this is ag biotech ag biotech is what the word is I mean you could have still figured it out uh, because agri tech wouldn't have fit in there as simple as that minus five to you Sayad on that that is ag biotech is uh, the growing field that i was talking about the last one okay this one is okay no 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 i don't know what this is here we go this is just the question this is a web based role based workflow of application which has been developed for online submission and monitoring of proposals submitted by the proponents for seeking environment forest wildlife and crz clearances from central state and yes sayed so this is parivesh good answer Good answer. Plus ten to you. Very very good answer. Another ten to him. And the other three of them. Hello. Hi. Good afternoon. Start scoring. Get me some scores on on your scoreboard. Here we go. Uh, from here we do three lateral thinking questions. You're going to get two visuals on screen. You need to put together and give me a final answer. You can give me an explanation or an answer. Either either or is okay with me. Adi buzzer is working. Don't worry. Here we go. Question number one. One side it says world without waste, and the other side it says hundred. Anushree, yes, Anushree. Ah, uh, like some organic. It's I'm audible. Yeah, yeah, you are audible. Go on. Ah, uh, organic products. So they are a hundred percentage plant based, and uh, it can be recycled. But but what is your answer? What is your final answer? organic product organic product not organic product anybody else wants to try no points though no one okay the answer here i was looking for is actually coca cola uh, world without waste is coca cola's one of the biggest uh, campaigns uh, for sustainability and uh, uh, just recently they have la launched 100% plant based bottles from which uh, coca cola will be bottling their uh, products so that's coca cola that i was looking for next one indian institute of or uh, reset the buzzer sorry indian institute of food processing technology on one side and jack fruit on the other side what does indian institute of food processing technology have to do with jackfruit in a sustainability quiz that's a wipro earthian sustainability quiz we're talking about indian institute of food processing technology along with jackfruits 
what have these two things have to do with each other? No one's risking it. No one's risking you. One negative and everybody stops risking. Okay, let me give you the answer to that. No buzzers though. This is nothing but uh, they have uh, eco friend. They have created a eco friendly version of cutlery, which can be consumed after you consume whatever is used in the cutlery using the jackfruit as a base to it. They have created cutlery where, uh, especially to serve desserts. So once the desserts are done, you can consume the cutlery also. So that's the that's the creation and uh, waste to taste is how they like to look at it. Okay, moving on. Next one. Give me a company from this company. World of Good Incorporated and e-commerce report. Global global giant. No one again. Ah, it's stumbling on these uh, lateral thinking questions. Okay, the answer to this is eBay. eBay is the answer. E world of Good is the world's largest multi-seller marketplace for socially and environmentally responsible shopping. So, which features thousands of products from around the world that combine trust and transparency with online shopping experience. That is World of Good from eBay, and uh, eBay believes that they are. I mean, eBay claims that they are the uh, they are the ones who pioneered the concept of re-commerce, which is buying and selling of pre-owned goods. Okay, on 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 the internet, that is what they believe. So, re-commerce and World of Good together gives us eBay. Okay, nobody getting points or losing points on that. Next one is a visual question. Tell me what type of uh, architecture am I showing you? Syed on the buzzer. Yes, Syed. Uh, this is called a sunflower architecture. So basically, the building turns to the direction of sun. So like a sunflower. So like a sunflower, it tries and uh, maintains its position with the sun so that it can get as much of solar energy as possible. Plus 10 to you. Very, very good answer. Very good answer. Moving on from there. I love this question. I really like this question. You need to identify a person from this. Okay. We know we'll run out of dead dinosaurs to mine for fuel and have to use sustainable energy eventually. So why not go renewable now and avoid increasing risk of climate catastrophe? Betting that science is wrong and oil companies are right is the dumbest experiment in history by far. Whose famous quote is this? Syed again on the buzzer. No, Syed didn't try the buzzer. Sorry, sorry. Anirban on the buzzer. Yeah. An the Anirban is the one who will get the buzzer. Uh, I will say uh, the world famous Elon Musk. Only a maverick can make a statement like this. Very good answer. Very, very good answer. Plus 10 Anirban. Nice answer on that. Elon Musk is the man who made the statement. Betting that science is wrong and oil companies are right is the dumbest experiment in history by far. Not my words. These are Elon Musk's words. Okay, moving on. Next one. The penultimate question, slightly long question, bear with me. Researchers at Sun Yet Sen University, Dalian University of Technology, and London South Bank University have recently developed a new continuum robo inspired by the trunks of elephants. This robo uses, uh, basically, it's been inspired by the trunks of uh, um, elephants, and what you see below is the design of this robo. My question to you is, this type of creation is an example of what? Syed again. So this is an example of a biomimicry copying from animals, like trying to mimic animals, biomimicry. Biomimicry, where you're taking in the, into account animals or nature uh, and then copying what happens from there. Plus 10. Good answer. Very, very good answer. This is biomimicry at its best, using an elephant's trunk to create a new continuum robo. And the last one, last question, um, before anybody buzzes on this question, it's a specific word that I'm looking for. Don't look at a generic word. I know there's a generic word that could tally with the fill-in-the-blank. This is a fill-in-the-blank question. But th this is a specific word that I'm looking for, so please be careful. Or else I would give you a minus 10 if you do not get the word right. Here we go. Enabled by robo technology solutions, we are looking at a rise of dash mobility, which includes more efficient means of transporting 
uh, transport mushrooming across the globe, including ride sharing, autom uh, autonomous uh, vehicles, mobility as a service, and some of the biggest automakers developing electric vehicle. What is the one word, or all of these put together come under what category? Dash mobility category. What is the dash? Anyone? Five, four, three, two, one. No buzzers. Okay, no buzzers. Uh, anybody wants to try? Syed, yeah? Uh, is this like alternative uh, mobility, just like alternative energy? And you didn't want to try it on the buzzer? Why didn't you want to try it on the buzzer? So, um, no, mostly, uh, what I was uh, not wanting is somebody coming up with different mobility because that uh, that could have also been a word. That's why I said I do not want the generic word. It's a very different style of mobility, right? So alternative would have been the right answer, but you didn't risk that. I wonder why you didn't risk that. 125 points minus 5 wouldn't have made any earth of a difference for you. But ladies and gentlemen, this has been one cracker of a quarter final. Syed Mohammed from... Um, I need to get that college name right. I don't want to mess up. Syed Mohammed from Os Osmania Medical College, Hyderabad is the winner here with 125 points. He moves in to be the next semi-finalist. Uh, Anushree uh, with a minus 5. Aditya did not open his account. And Anirban with a very, very good answer to get the pl 5 points on the uh, scoreboard. But I must say, all three of you, this is the first time. It's a learning for you. So take that as a learning. Go prepare better and come back next year and do very, very well. Syed, congratulations. I have nothing else to say but congratulations. But I promise you, semi-final gets tougher. Just the way every year, every level gets tougher. So please come prepared for that. Ladies and gentlemen, that has been one interesting quarterfinal round. From here on, lots more action, lots more quizzing. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Wipro Urgent Sustainability Quiz, the 8th edition. I'm your quiz master, Lloyd Saldana. See you next time.